Rock when he brought a space up from Odell Beckham's groin in a club. Did Bieber get you into lean or did God you get dang. Bieber into lean? God dang, y'all can't get a room? You gotta do it. <laughs> what is up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Justin Fee Bieber comes forward against Diddy for um, grooming him as a minor. Spill secrets. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. There's no way in the world. Mm, mm, mm. Without any further ado, let's check this bad boy. Yeah. Justin Bieber is hit that subscribe yeah, that button and hit that bell. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Justin Bieber is getting yacked out of his fucking mind drunk not even 18 at the time i was popping pills doing what? molly shrooms what? where we hanging out and what we doing we can't really disclose playing lookout as justin bieber goes down on odell that, that justin bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he brought his face up from odell beckham's groin in the club did what? bieber get you into or goes down on odell that, that justin bieber was wiping away from his mouth when he brought his face up from Odell Beckham's groin in a club. Did Bieber get you into lean or did God you get dang. Bieber into lean? God dang, y'all can't get a room? You gotta do it right there. I done seen plenty of bad chicks, man, and I can maintain my composure. This this ain't... Oh my God. Bad. I don't know if I'd be alive for sure. Puff had ran into Justin Bieber. They met up and he started tapping him as if he was searching him and see if he had some kind of device on. It's been allegedly said that Diddy mm. spikes drinks and gets artists messed up so that he could pass them around to other industry men. P. Diddy be wanting the body and you gotta tell him no. And you, you gotta, gotta tell him, him no. no. Justin had traumatic secrets that he's holding on to that he didn't want to live anymore because of this. Man, I think that there was times where I was really, really like really like man this is this pain ever gonna go away i was just suffering right so i'm just like man i would rather not feel this than feel this usher signed <laughs> justin when he was just 14 years old after that he passed him on to diddy who took him out parties got him drunk addicted to all kind of substances i was waking up in the morning and the first thing i was doing is popping pills and smoking a blunt and starting my day and yeah. and, and this is sad i mean this is sad and this one with bieber this is the bieber thing. one yeah. like, where are the parents go and hang out with this guy for weeks on end by yourself at what mm -hmm. time is this cool? in the most critical years by yeah, the way how is this normal so they both good. turn into superstars yeah that's the sacrifice you make he signed the usher I'm signed to usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of usher but for the next 48 hours he's with me and we're gonna go buck full crazy after diddy introduced him to this lifestyle what? justin bieber couldn't stop and there's many celebrities that went out with him and saw him out of control did like, bieber get to... you into lean or did you get bieber into lean um yeah, i don't even know i think he got i don't even know how he got into it how was it uh, sipping with him though? That was oh my man, god! Like, Damn, Bieber, you messed up activists. Like you're on board <laughs> with that theory that he's the one who got it banned. I think so. Oh man. my god! <laughs> Justin Bieber in cans. I was walking him down to our party on our boat. He had like all the paparazzi. It was the first time I'd I'd really like seen that up close. And I, I gave him a quaalude and got him laid. Oh, I just I mean there was a chick there that I had banged and I told her to bang him. I don't know. I think it was something like that. And I let him use my room. There's <laughs> nothing really that crazy. Justin Bieber. I remember. It went from like me interviewing him from him being like still like innocent to maul had a birthday party in vegas at his crib i go mm, with mike mm, posner mm. at the time mike's on tour with justin yeah we go inside there's naked serving drinks and all kinds of ill wild you would expect to be happening in molly maul's house and justin bieber is just getting yacked out of his mind drunk some other shit. Lean. No. Oh. Yeah. I, mm. I don't know. I'm sitting at the bar. I don't bro, know. Like, and we're looking at Justin Bieber and this mother looking at himself in the mirror for 30 minutes straight, bro. Oh, that that's a thing that could happen doing enough drugs. Yeah. He's just staring at himself. <laughs> People trying to talk to him. He's not even fucking replying. He's just yeah. looking at himself in the mirror. Hey, yeah. Wow. Did it occur to you or any of the other grown ups in the room at any point? They're like, oh, oh man. for me, for sure. A child. Oh, I was not even 18 at the time. Yeah. What, what the f? I just had this kid on my show and he was like, right. Wow. Wow, that's crazy, man. Slow down. Totally like a normal, you know, 16-year-old, however the f old he was at the time. You know, he he had a, I think he had a lot of terrible people around. Obviously, he had a lot of terrible people around. Obviously. Even Ryan Garcia, who just beat Devin Haney in a boxing match, was close to Justin Bieber and says he was not okay. I know Bieber, but I'm going to tell you what I have a problem with. Me and Bieber were cool. 
I was going through my depression. Bieber called me, right? And we did a FaceTime and he prayed for me. He was like, what's up, brother? And he was really high. Not mad at him. Bieber was supposed to walk me out. But things got really out of control when he was seen doing something very suspicious at a club with Odell Beckham Jr. and Trey Songs. Really disturbing footage of Bieber, Odell Beckham, and Trey Songs. Like, and, and Trey's like literally sitting there playing lookout. Playing lookout as Justin Bieber goes down on Odell. The boy came up with his mouth wet. Mouth wet, dribbling. Now what they're gonna try to say is, no, nah, Justin Bieber was just doing a line of coke. No, he didn't mess with his nose when he, he came up. He was doing a line of coke with his mouth. He wiped his mouth. When you do his coke. His mouth was wet. His you mouth, your mouth was when you wet. Fucking wasn't post-nasal drip. That was seminal <laughs> fluid, shit. It was Odell. But Diddy taught him well, right? The flavor freak off. Justin Bieber spent 48 hours with Diddy. Talking about we about to get it in. I'm going to let you drive the car when you 15. That boy ain't been the same since. Got all this anxiety. Now, we're not exactly sure the nature of Odell Beckham Jr. and Justin Bieber's relationship. But there's plenty up for debate. And things do definitely look suspicious. They get rather close and... Nothing else has really been said other than they've been together for that moment in time and you really haven't seen them since. But Odell Beckham has been to plenty of Diddy parties, so we're not sure if Justin was just passed off after Diddy wanted him to have them. I think that I was just, yeah, living in this shame, living in all this sort of stuff of my past and I wasn't able to move on. The partying was out of control and Justin caught some kind of disease that paralyzed parts of his face. Hey everyone. Um... Justin here. Uh, I wanted to update you guys on what's been going on. <laughs> I have uh, this syndrome called uh, Ramsey Hunt syndrome. And it is from this virus that um, attacks the nerve in my ear and my facial nerves and has caused my face to have paralysis. As you can see, this eye is not blinking. I can't smile on this side of my face. So there's full paralysis in this side of my face. Here, Justin subliminally talks about what he would do different if he can go back. 21 year old Justin is giving 15 year old mm -hmm. Justin advice. I was so innocent, cause I was innocent and I was young and I trusted everybody. And being young and innocent in this industry, it's not necessarily the, the best thing because people would take advantage of, of vulnerability. And so I think I was mm. just in a place of just trusting everyone and you know thinking everyone was on my side and eventually getting burned. And Now Justin Bieber made it a big effort that he wanted to protect Billie Eilish, who was a huge fan of his growing up because she was also young coming into the industry. And he was worried that she might be taken advantage of like him. I just to protect her you know it was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone you know telling me they love me and you know just turn their back on you in a second um damn <laughs> uh, encounters and um i don't want her to 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 lose it i don't want her to you know go through anything i went through i don't wish that upon anybody you could tell he wanted to say what really happened to him throughout his journey with Diddy, the parties and everything. But after this, he tried to get right by going straight to church, but the person he chose to guide him ended up taking advantage of him just like Diddy. I basically said to myself, oh my God, if you're real, you get me through this season of stopping these pills and stuff. Pastor Carl Lentz, who at the time was also mm. involved with advising a number of NBA stars, most notably Kyrie Irving. With, with Justin growing up in the industry and nothing but grown men around him at all times, you see the, the pastor here, he's, he's got his arm around Justin holding him tight. They're out here taking shots at the bar and Justin starts taking his shirt off in the bar. I don't know, like, what's going on and, and what's going on with their relationship at the time super strange for two men to be like this definitely not what's normal but then also here's an interview we have with justin and his pastor and it's kind of like what it's a little much man you get better that's why i we just want to love people more i just want to love carl more <laughs> you're doing a good job with that it's it's a little strange and i feel bad because i mean look he's still on his shoulder for like two minutes which is man, it's a little get much off me, to be man. honest I, I understand the too much. right. You gotta, you gotta love the man above, but man, I, I don't think the man it above. seems healthy to have this weird of a relationship with your pastor. And then we get out mm, to something mm, scary. Mm. I don't know if I'm seeing what I'm seeing here, but Justin Bieber is kissing his pastor right here in a pool. Strange. Look at this. This is Justin and the pastor 
in a pool. Look at this. We don't know what Justin's been through with Diddy and Usher and the industry, but frequently Justin has been spotted kissing men multiple times. So here he's kissing one of his producers on the mouth, just like the pastor. And here he was at Coachella randomly kissing Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son. Now in 2020, Justin stopped that talking was, to his pastor that because was he got caught cheating on his wife. He got accused of SA. He's saying everything's not true, but he confessed to cheating on his wife on Instagram. And so Justin Bieber cut, up, cut him off. That's kind of scary, right? The way Justin was acting with this guy and now everything's over. Like we have no relationship whatsoever. Was there, like, was Justin scared? Like, nah, I got to get away from this guy or something comes out about us. I don't know. And it's crazy to even talk about it like this because he's this guy's a pastor. A lot should also be said about why Justin hasn't come out defending or supporting or against Diddy in any single way when they had a relationship since he was 15 years old what mm. have they been through that doesn't allow Justin to come out and say anything about the situation we don't know the truth of anything because everything is alleged but it would seem that after meeting P Diddy and he took his fame to the next level things got crazy there was a lot of drinking a lot of drug use a lot of these things are also used in Diddy's parties as per the Little Rod lawsuit. Whether or not it's true, we don't know. But Justin is a good person at heart and you could tell. So it's sad that he went down this dark path. But hopefully he's being able to turn it all around after being married and he's going to be back on top soon. This is crazy, man. There is no way in the world, man. Them, oh my God, you know, all this drama coming out on these people, man. Justin Bieber, I remember I was broke. I had just started working and they kept playing this Justin Bieber song over and over again. And this, I was doing security in this little mall. And I kept saying, here we go again with it. And they were playing the video. And um, Luda, look, God dang, Luda was in the video. Man, hey, hey, I'm trying to tell you, man. Um, uh, Charleston White said something about Luda. Um, Cat Williams says something about Luda. Um, hey, we already know there's a lot of men undercover, and they don't want people to know that they got a little gay side going on. They don't want nobody to know. And to be honest, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Oh, my God. I like the music. Justin was a they was they was doing great music and stuff. That's that's all I'm caring about is the music and what they do. Now what they do behind closed doors, if you gay and that person gay and y'all want to get in the bed, that's y'all thing. I ain't getting in the goddamn bed unless it's all women in the it can be four or five women, baby. I'm ready. I'm, I can take my clothes off quick. Anyway, anyway, man. Oh, that is ugly, man. That's a shame. I don't know. Again, I'm I'm holding fast. Um, you are innocent until you're proven guilty. I'm holding on that. It's hard to hold on that, Puffy. It's hard to hold on that. And I think they drawing this mess out for real just for the daggone fame, man. Puffy, Usher, Justin, um, Cuban Jr. Um I can't even name them all, man. I'm I'm down with Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington rolled up out of there. <laughs> he was at a Diddy party, young. He rolled up out of there. He ain't say nothing. He ain't say the Papa Watts, Rossies was out there. <laughs> the Papa Rossies was out there and everything. They he got in this car. You ain't seen you ain't seen Denzel around. No daggone puffy. None of that mess. He, shoo, okay, I see where y'all going. I ain't down with this. He remind me of training day. <laughs> Look here, y'all take it like, take it slow, tell him I crossed. Told you so. Peace out.